Quite the weather we saw today. A heavy hailstorm led to a deadly crash on I-5 north of Kelso at one point, and that was one of several crashes. It had northbound drivers stuck in gridlock for hours. Jamie Seymour joining us live with the latest. You were at the scene for hours today. I know the highway's back open. What else can you tell us, Jamie? Liz, something we just learned from Washington State Patrol is that the victim in that crash was a 75 year old woman. Police say she lost control of her motorcycle during that sudden hailstorm and crashed into the median. A sudden hailstorm just after 2 p.m. left a mess of I 5 north of Kelso, Washington, with multiple crashes between semi trucks and cars. Kelso resident Lonnie Mustin noticed the freeway traffic start to back up into town when he got out of work. 2.30 and it was it was uh, blocked going west on Tenant Way and north and south on I-5. Both sides of I-5 saw multiple crashes after the hailstorm near milepost 42. Washington State Patrol says the bulk of the crashes were in the northbound lanes, with at least three to four separate crashes with multiple vehicles involved in each one. A motorcycle and vehicle also crashed, killing at least one person. A man from a truck was injured as well and taken to an area hospital, though his condition is unknown. The string of wrecked cars left northbound traffic backed up for miles as cars took to the shoulder and frontage road to move through. Very surprised, yeah. We live close to here and was very surprised it's still down. Mustian says while he didn't notice the hailstorm while inside, it's not unusual for the area to see quick bursts of activity like the hail. In Kelso, yep, sun, rain, snow, anything can happen in one day. Traffic is now back open in both directions of I-5. Washington State Patrol has not yet, yet released the identity of the woman who was killed, but did say she was from Reno, Nevada. If we get any new information, we'll continue to keep you updated here on air as well as online on coin.com. Reporting live in Washington, Jamie Seymour, Coin 6 News.